Hello, I'm Shonchari Banerjee. Welcome to the Polymer Update News Show from Mumbai. While the world is worried about the plunge in global crude oil prices, we have global energy expert Vandana Hari, founder of Vanda Insights, sharing her views on the recent drop in crude prices exclusively with Polymer Update. Vandana, why are crude prices spiraling down? So, there was a big piece of bearish news out of a meeting between the Saudi and Russian energy ministers in St. Petersburg, Russia on Friday. Uh, they discussed increasing OPEC, non-OPEC supplies by 1 million barrels per day uh, in order to offset the over-tightening oil supply in the global oil markets and to cool down the overheated crude prices. Now, crude responded by going into a tailspin. It shed between $3 and $4 over the course of last Thursday and Friday and uh, slumped by another dollar and 50 cents nearly uh, when markets opened in Asia Monday. What's the reason for this change in course by OPEC and non-OPEC? The OPEC non-OPEC cuts were meant to cut about 1.8 million barrels per day of production from the oil markets in order to bring supply in line with demand after it had swung into an excess through 2014, uh, 15 and 16, which had of course caused bloated inventories and pressured crude uh, to below $30 a barrel. However, in recent months, that reduction has been far deeper, almost close to 3 million barrels per day. Now, that's only partly voluntarily, as the largest OPEC member, Saudi Arabia, deliberately slashed its output more than it needed to. But more importantly, uh, it's because of involuntary declines amongst several members in OPEC as well as the non-OPEC camps. Uh, Venezuela is a big reason. Its production has been falling short of its ceiling by nearly half a million barrels per day. Other producers, including Angola within OPEC and uh, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan and Mexico within non-OPEC, have also been falling short of their quotas. So is this a done deal? Increasing supply by about 1 million barrels per day or any other number that they decide upon will first need to be agreed by the OPEC and non-OPEC ministers who are scheduled to meet in Vienna on the 22nd of June. It's going to be a tough meeting since um, only a few producers actually have the capacity to raise output. That means most of the increase uh, will have to come from Russia and Saudi Arabia. The two together are the biggest producers, of course, and they have cut production by about 900,000 barrels per day combined. Now, their peers who cannot raise production are likely going to lose out, not only in terms of market share, uh, but also because their revenues will decline as, as more supply cools off crude prices. We can expect these members to prevail on Saudi Arabia and Russia to be more cautious in how much they add to the market. Thank you, Vandana, for speaking with us. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Polymer Update and be sure to click the like button. You can also find us on Twitter at Polymer Update. For the latest news from the plastics and petrochemicals industry, subscribe to our YouTube channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon.